Yeah, I think the the project itself for for Palestinians was good ex academic exercise. is is very important because this is the first time that the Palestinian researchers uh, are engaged in this kind of of research, and uh, the the project also give the Palestinians an opportunity to evaluate the effective of uh, and the efficiency of uh, service uh, delivery. Uh, provided by the state or by other actors, uh, international NGOs, local NGOs, or private sector. Uh, the other issue, which is also important, we we had the the, the good opportunity to reevaluate the how we formulate MSBs, how we we uh, evaluate MSBs, uh, uh, what is the functionality of the MSBs. Uh, and also, uh, we, we, we tried to link that with the newborn country, which is Palestine. And uh, in my opinion, the innovation of this project is, is uh, dealing with, uh, with a country like Palestine is just uh, newborn and the legitimacy is in the process. That's why uh, monitoring the process of legitimacy, looking to the future of, of the legitimacy, and to have the, the, the consensus, national consensus, on what is legitimate and what is not legitimate is, is very important. Uh, first of all, we try to open the eyes of the people, uh, how to monitor the quality of the services. And since the Palestinian uh, history uh, uh, created a, a, sit a situation or a mentality or a culture that is public sector is not Palestinian sector. And this is the first time in our history public sector is, is a national uh, uh, sector, national interest. That's why we're trying to shift the people mentality from mentality to ask charity to mentality asking rights. And that's why what we're trying to, to, to do is to open a dialogue between the governments and the citizens to create trust uh, and uh, confidence. And this is, in my opinion, the first step. As I said earlier, we are in the process, the first step of, of legitimacy creation.